I think that um, uh, the actress I am uh, goes with the woman I am, and the woman I am it goes with the actress I am. They go together. And the, in this ev evolution, uh, like woman, uh, like an actress, uh, now when you see back your your career, uh, there is something that you say that maybe I missed this and maybe I was wrong on, with that or you are completely comfortable with what everything you have made? Um, in, my, in my parcours uh, cinematographique, I prefer to speak like that instead of career. Um, I have done everything. I've done uh, many success. I've done many bomb. I've done movies that never came out. Uh, but this is very interesting because uh, through uh, all those different experiences, sometimes uh, I was very happy, sometimes it was more painful, sometimes uh, um, I just I didn't understand, so sometimes I put so many uh, of myself in things that never came out. And uh, in all this process I learned so much and um, uh, and if I would come go back, I would do exactly the same. Because I think it's important when you make a movie that you think that is interesting what you do, but it's just a movie. And uh, I feel that now, you know, in the last you know years, you know, you you came to a cinema that that uh, if you I saw your career uh, your parcours cinematographique in the beginning, I said, I will never see Monica working with Philippe Carrel. I will never see Monica working with Gaspar Noé. I will never see Monica. And uh, at the same time, it was such a surprise to see it in these movies. And uh, how, uh, how, first of all, they invite you or you propose to work with uh, these directors that they you know as in a way such a, a very particular uh, career uh, uh, you know parcours like you say and uh, such a, a, a an oeuvre so special how how it happens these encounters um but for me when I'm in front of the camera, it really doesn't change if I'm, I'm shooting Matrix or I'm shooting The Passion of Jesus Christ or I'm shooting a film with Philippe Garel or, or Gaspar Noé. Uh, artistic movie, very intimate, uh, with very small budget. Um, what I'm looking for is uh, something <laughs> that um, that is something that I have to discover also about myself. So it's a, a research personnel. Uh, as, a, as an actress, as a woman, uh, it's like if it through, through my roles, I, I try to understand so many things about myself, so many things about femininity, because I'm a woman, first of all, and my inspiration as an artist, it comes more from women than a man, because I'm a woman, and the women inspired me so much. So I was inspired by Italian actresses like uh, Anna Magnani and Sofia Loren and Gina Brigida and Silvana Mangano and Lucia Bose, uh, Monica Vitti, and, and maybe if I was French, I would say I was inspired by Jean Moreau and uh, uh, Brigitte Bardot, which I love. But uh, I come from an Italian background, and I feel so Italian. So wherever I go, whatever I'm doing, my Italianity is there anyway. Even when I speak English and French, I have an Italian accent. So uh, it went, and actually, I'm not the kind of actress who call directors and say, I would love to work with you. This is not my approach. I like when they come to me. And they come with ideas. There, I didn't something I didn't think about it because I love to be surprised, and this is very feminine way to proceed. But uh, I love when Mirko Suriza come to me and he wrote a very be beautiful role for me, 
and Gaspar Noé come with me with the reversible. It's very violent, but very challenging. So I'm looking for experiences. Maybe because uh, I have two kids, and uh, as a woman, I try to have a very simple life because I have two kids. So, I st and actually, I help. I'm very grateful they have two kids, and they help me to have a balance and stay into the ground. But then in my work, I fly. I fly high. <laughs> and, uh, and for example, when. Uh, the directors come to see you and to to propose to you. You uh, you are influenced only by what they are proposing to you, but as well what they have made before, and you want to know more about what they all they you know uh, they films and everything before to accept it, or you accept only because really the role is what interesting you. Uh, but when I work with Philippe Garel, or I work with um, with uh, Mel Gibson, or I work with the Wachowski brothers, uh, or I work with some Mendes, of course, I work with people that I know exactly what they do. And uh, so maybe I feel like secure, I go and <clears throat> I know that I don't have to care about nothing, just do my work as an actress because I'm so protected by the director. But sometimes I accepted film, they, they were first movies. Like uh, when I did um, the film of Gaspar Noé, Gaspar Noé was his, uh, he did, I mean, his second movies, but you know, was a young director. And uh, uh, when I did L'Appartement, it was the f a first movie. So it happens that uh, I work with young director, first experience, just I need to love the script. And uh, when I meet the director, I need to feel something that um, I feel something. Everything is about feelings. Uh, I don't want to do the alone this conversation because is with you as well, the public. If you want, anyone wants to start uh, making a, a dialogue with the. Uh, I'm nervous. <coughs> <coughs> I'm just having a hard, uh, some kind of a heart attack here. I'm freaking nervous. <coughs> Uh, there are two reasons why I'm nervous. One is because I'm standing to a beautiful woman, and when I'm standing uh, by her, I am always nervous, and I think it's this some kind of disease I have. And the other reason is because I'm standing now uh, in front of the other beautiful woman in the room, and the question I have is precisely about that. Um, being a body, being a face, being a beautiful woman in the movie industry uh, is a, a kind of your uh, um, business card. Uh, but uh, uh, in the movie industries, men always come first in the credits, men always come first in the payroll, and um, even if you do a big movie, with the good acting, excellent acting, uh, women are not uh, still uh, have the same power in, the, in this in industry as men. Why do you think that we are in 2016 and this is still happening? And the other question is a small question, is in what language do you use to curse? Italiano. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, what you say is not just about cinema, it's about everything, no? Uh, this uh, difference between how in society we treat women and men and is not about cinema, it's about uh, all, every kind of work. So, um, in cinema, maybe we, as a women, we are more free. Because for example, um, with my kids, I could do things that my friends, they are lawyers and uh, doctors, uh, uh, they, they can do what I do. For example, 
uh, when I I had my first kids, when I had um, when I had when I gave birth to Deva, now she's twelve. I was breastfeeding while I was shooting a film with Bertrand Blier. And, uh, and when I was doing, when I, I had uh, Leonie, uh, she's six now, and I was breastfeeding her while I was shooting the film with Garel. And this is amazing, because I have the freedom to bring my kids with me on set. And, uh, and women, they can do this if they do another work. And after three months, they have to give their kids to, uh, you know, to the, to the society, because they can do that. And uh, so just for that reason, I, I think I'm a free person. And also, through my work, I have the freedom to work when I want because uh, I can have months where I work, and then I decide to stay five, six months without working, <laughs> because I can stay with my kids. Just uh, I have to say that to, to explain that uh, to be an actress really is a kind of work that gives so much freedom. But when I speak like that, it's because I realize uh, how lucky I am, and how just few women can have this kind of freedom. Bonjour, uh, Monica. Je suis aussi fou pour vous, <laughs> comme quoi que je crois tous les hommes de cette uh, plateau. <laughs> Which responsibility? <laughs> um, quel est le film que vous vous sentez plus uh, plus joli uh, de, de voir votre votre beauté? dans tous les films. C'est Malène ou un autre film que vous avez fait Oh là là, moi j'espère qu'il n'y a pas que la beauté, sinon ça deviendrait très boring. <rire> euh, bah, comme, dit, comme il dit Oscar Wilde, la beauté a 5 minutes de vie. Ça veut dire que la beauté provoque... Oh, sorry, I speak French. <rire> euh, bon... Euh... I said the beauty is very can be very boring because it's just five minutes of uh, of life, and uh, if the beauty is just beauty, everything becomes uh, so boring. So, and I hope I have something else. Um, anyway, talking about beauty, Malena. Um, uh, is a film that I've done many years ago. So I was, I had still the beauty of the youth. Now I, have, I hope I have the beauty of the um, oldness. And, um, and I have to say that uh, this, this film was important for me because it was, uh, first of all, it's an Italian film and I'm very attached to my country. Second is Tornatore, they I respect so much. He's a great director, he's the first one, one of the first one who gave me a great possibility with this movie and he wrote an amazing role for me. And um, it's a movie that uh, proves like, uh, the, the, uh, like the images, the power of the images, because this film proves that images that can explain much more feelings than words. And also, it's, an, it's a kind of movie that gave me the possibility then to work with so many other directors. So really, I have to thank Tornatore for this movie. So that's why we chose Malena. Yeah, and, um, and, and then soon they're gonna project the film with the Mirko Storica, yes. And Kusturitz is going to come here to speak about the movie and everything. Voila. But anyway, what I want to tell, uh, thank you very much. And um, I really love Lisboa. <laughs> and uh, I feel really good here. I live in Paris, and my kids right now are in Paris. But I was here last week, and I spent one week here for holiday. And I really love this country. I really love this town. People is so warm, so nice. I feel completely comfortable here. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe another life. Who knows? But um, people are so warm. The food is so good. Light is so great. The sky is so amazing. 
and um, I don't know, I feel so good here. So thank you very much, and I love your Lisbon. Good afternoon. I have a very simple question. As you noticed that you have two lovely kids, uh, this, does the fact that your mom somehow change your decision which role to take or not, or if it happened to you already that uh, you get some uh, offer on some really interesting role and you were thinking, well, I'm not really sure I want to, to do this because I don't want my kids to see me to play this. So, thank you. Um, yes, you're right. Uh, sometimes I thought about it and I said, oh my God, uh, maybe I shouldn't do this because my kids can see. But then at the same time, I said, uh, even the last movie I've done um, is a TV series I've done with uh, Gael Garcia Bernal, Mozart in the Jungle, and I have some strong scenes. And I said, oh my God, maybe I shouldn't do this. But um, then I said, to myself, I think that I want my kids to see me, first of all, as a mother. Because for them, I'm not an actress, I'm not an image, I'm not a cover of magazine, uh, I'm just a mother. But then if I say no to something that for me is important uh, as an actress, it's like if uh, uh, my part of my the artist, that the artistic way I see things have to change, then it's better if I stop my work forever and I do something else. Uh, I think that there is the actress and there is the, the woman. But I want, first of all, I want to be a mother for my kids. But when I work, I want to be free. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, I will ask you uh, in uh, French, if I can. Uh, J'ai entendu une fois une, une interview très intéressante en italien où vous parliez de vos parents et puis qui vous ont fait, disons, dans, euh, dans votre parcours qui vous ont fait perdre le, la peur, ou disons qui vous ont donné la, le, le, une éducation qui fait que vous n'avez pas peur. Oh, merci beaucoup, j'aimerais bien. Je ne sais pas où je vais... Je ne sais pas où vous... J'ai trouvé très intéressant. Si, si. Non, j'ai dû dire que mes parents me donnaient tellement de liberté et que je pouvais parler avec eux beaucoup quand j'étais jeune. Et je pense que c'est le meilleur, vous savez, best thing I had, uh, but to be scared, uh, you know, this is a big question. Of course I'm scared. I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of traveling because I don't know what can happen. I'm scared when I start a movie. I'm scared when I meet new people. I'm scared when uh, for my kids. I'm scared for my life. I'm scared for the life of the people I love. I'm always scared. The thing that I try to fight with my scared, but I'm so scared. Okay, what a privilege to be the last one to to speak. First of all, I'd like to uh, say thank you to Mr. Paul Brank for bringing uh, us the opportunity to be face to uh, Mrs. Monica Bellucci. For us, is it's a great privilege to be here with you because, um, in my opinion, and I think it's shared by many many women, you represent so well not only the woman in general, but also um, you uh, the 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 kind of uh, um, like an actress, you always you are a model for me as a woman and as a, an actress. And so I always try to buy everything about you. And this this week there is an interview in a, in a Portuguese magazine, and I I was enchanted <laughs> uh, because um, and I wish you lots of success, not only uh, for. To, to be able to cope with being mother 
such a good mother and being a such a good actress. I think you are a model for many, many, many young people and not only. And um, although I'm a, a woman, a married woman, um, I think I al also can say that indeed you are a very pretty woman and I wish you lots of success and come, come to us more times and <laughs> please. Well, thank you very and much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much and um, me too I have to thank uh, uh, Paolo for this invitation because uh, it was great, uh, it's great to be here with you first of all and last night it was great to be at the opening and uh, to see um, uh, there, were, there were so many images there they show and uh, it's incredible how many great artists came here. I was amazed to see how many incredible directors, how many incredible uh, actors, writers, photographers, artists from everywhere. So I can imagine the work that Paolo does for, uh, for this city and for the art and for the culture. And a country without a culture is a slave. So really, thank you, Paolo, because you're doing really a great job. And, and thank you for this invitation. I'm really honored to be here and to speak with you because the actors without the public, we are nobody. Thank you. It's, it was really a pleasure and it's a fantastic to start our festival, our Sand Festival with someone like you and uh, to be with us and uh, the disponibility you gave us yesterday with the press, with the other people that uh, were invited and were there with us here. Thanks very much. That represents a lot for all of us. And uh, I hope we see you every year with two or three films here with us. <laughs> and uh, for now, we're going to see Malena and uh, we have on the, on the 12th, uh, we can show here with the presence of Emir Kusturica and uh, with uh, Monica in the main role, the last movie on, Mil on Milky Road, that is the second time in the world is, uh, it is being shown. It was shown only in Venice, now it's going to be shown here. And it's a pleasure to have him this film here. And uh, and thank you very much. And uh, enjoy your stay in Portugal every time you come. Okay. And thank you. Thank you.